Well, let's let's talk about one of those better coach teams, and this will wrap up the Pac-12 South. Utah. This is a legit team, all right? So their over-under this year is nine and a half. Uh, the over... That's, that's big. The over on it is plus 130. The under is minus 150. So, I mean, that's a lot of juice either way, right? Like, yep. you, you get in a bunch with going over, but you're also giving up a lot if you go under. Um, nine and five last year, six and three. Returning starters, they got eight on offense, seven on defense. Uh, fourth most experienced team in the conference, number 54 in the country. Kyle Whittingham, 120 and 61 in 14 seasons. Uh, they may have his best team since joining the Pac-12. Offensive coordinator Andy Ludwig returns from Vanderbilt. He was there before. He's coming back. Senior quarterback Tyler Huntley. He missed five games last year with a broken collarbone. Uh, both offensive tackles and their center return uh, for the offensive line, along with skill players out the wazoo. Uh, star running back Zach Moss is back. He is unbelievable. Defense, number five against the run, and all four defensive linemen return. They had the number 14 total defense in the country, the number 16 scoring defense, and three uh, defensive backs return. They were number 53 against the pass, so they still need a little work to do on that. But when you are that good against the run, uh, everybody's going to be trying to throw, right? So it's it, the numbers kind of skew themselves. Favorable schedule, no Stanford, no Oregon, means they could easily repeat as Pac-12 champs. I'll go. Tell me what Pac-12 South champs, right? Yeah, yeah, Pac-12 South. Yeah. Okay. Not Pac-12. But they, they didn't. They didn't win the Pac-12. Yeah. So yeah, they, they wouldn't you. repeat. But I, I like this team. I think. I think this is one of the toughest dudes in all of college football. I, I think the schedule and this roster set up. I, I got a couple of. I got a couple losses for them. Some of it's bias towards other people. My boy Mike Leach. We'll get to him later. All right. But. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna be nine. I think they're gonna be nine and three. That's where I got them. I have them eleven and one. Holy shit! And I've got them eight and one in the conference. I love this team this year. So I, what it, loss do you have them in the conference? I've got them losing at Washington. By, that one game at Washington, and and that's only that because be it. it is the week after California, and it's at Washington. Yeah. Um, California beats people up. But I, I think I, Utah is better at beating people up than Cal. They're both really physical. But, yeah, they're really physical. So, like, I, Cal does not have a ton of talent. No. But they play hard. Yeah. And hard. you're going to feel it the next week. And the fact that they've got at Washington the week after that, uh, I think they lose that one. But other than that. You're making my case for why I think they're better than USC this year. Oh, yeah. Because, because they do things like beat people up and play physical. And, and USC just doesn't handle that well. Yeah. Oh, you come here and you run this soft spread offense and you play a soft defense, you're maybe more of a Pac-12 school. Yeah, we can hang with that all day long. Oh, you come here and you play smash mouth football? Yeah, we don't like that. Yeah. We don't like that. So I, I, it's, so anyway, you've made my case for Cal, by the way. Um, I, I'm with you. Those are, those are two of the best coaches in college football that not a lot of people know about unless you pay attention to the Pac-12 or you follow college football religiously like we do, and you like all of it. Yeah. Those two guys are legit. Yeah. People need to know their name. Well, I mean, people, I think people know Kyle Whittingham. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to bet there's a lot of big college football fans in Memphis that pay attention to SEC football and Memphis football and don't know any, anything about those guys. I mean, you might be right. You might be right. Um, all right, that's going to wrap up the Pac-12 South. Uh, I think, do we both have Utah winning the division? Yes. I think we both got Utah winning the division. All right, go to winningcureseverything.com. Go to uh, betnow.eu. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com, or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.